Joining us now exclusively is Brady's longtime body coach, close friend, and TV12 co-founder, Alex Guerrero. Alex, thank you for joining us this morning, my friend. And, and we, you, we know you've worked with Tom for more than 15 years. You're one of the closest people on the planet to him. So can you tell us why he finally decided to hang it up? <laughs> well, you know, he's, he's had an amazing 22-year career, right? And he's done so many, um, you know, as everybody has you know, talked about for, you know, the past few days, how amazing his career has been. Um, you know, I think he's gotten to the point to where he, you know, realized that he just wanted to spend some time with his family and, and give back. And when you take the time with him and you see how committed he is to the things that he loves doing, which for 20 years was football. And um, for the season, he was so dedicated to his team and wanted to be the best for his teammates. And you know, now, it, just like Tom said it, he goes, he wanted to take some time to reflect and uh, find a direction for his path moving forward. But what do you, what was his thought process leading up to this decision? And, and did he ask you for your input? <laughs> um, you know, really, during the course of the season, we were so focused, right? It really was about the team. It really was about being the best um, for his teammates. You know, Tom um, always exemplifies great leadership, I think, his work ethic right, his determination to win. Um, you know, he always comes with a winning mindset. That was really what we focused on, you know, up until really last week. And uh, next season, we'll be here before we know it. Do you think he might regret retiring just a little bit? You know, I, that's a, it, you know, Michael, you've been there, right? Like, I've, I've been fortunate enough to work with a lot of, of high-end athletes and, and have taken several into retirement. And, you know, some are really prepared for it and, and um, you know, and others aren't like you obviously prepared for it. And we've talked about you and just admire what you have been able to do, um, you know, post football. And, you know, Tom and I have actually talked about, you know, Michael and what Michael's done and how amazing he's done it. And so, you know, I think he's excited about post football career. You know, he's got amazing businesses that he's involved in. Certainly, you know, he has a passion for health and wellness and, and sharing, you know, the TB12 method and what we've been able to, to start there and share that with the masses. Like he wants people to know how to be able to do what they love doing for longer and how to be able to do it regardless of age. And, and I think it's amazing. His, his, his career is a testament to all of those things, his commitment to being the best. And um, definitely, I need to get on that TB12 program of falling apart. <laughs> and, and he, and, but in his statement, he made a reference to you, which I thought was, was such so great. He said, I could never have made every Sunday without you. It's that simple. So what did you do to help Brady become the special player he was? And, and what do you think was the key to his longevity? Um, yeah, I think the key to his longevity, obviously, is his work ethic, um, you know, healthy habits, uh, and his winning mindset. And I think those are all things that we talk about you know, at TB12 and, and through our TB12 method. It's just all, it's all part of it, right? We're working on, you know, being, you know, working on the physical body, the, the emotional body, the, the mental body. And so, you know, I think through our, our work together, through his training, through our, you know, manual therapy, all the, the, the body work that we've done to really prepare his body for, to be able to sustain the impact, um, you know, that the sport put on him over the course of, you know, these, all these 16 years together. Um, you know, I think that really you know, goes towards talking about his longevity and why he was able to do it for as long as he was able to do it for. And I think, you know, people in the future are now going to be able to hear more from him and, and, and see more about, you know, how he did it and why he did it and, and, and the results of doing it. 22 years. We both know how long and how tough it is for anybody to go that long at anything that they do. So, Alex, thank you for your contribution so that we could watch Tom Brady play. Thank you, my friend. We really thank appreciate you. you. Thank you for joining thank, us this morning. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you for having me. Thank you, of course. And there's high praise there for you. And you really, when you decided to retire, you had made calls. Mm -hmm. You had made, you know, relationships. And that's much what Brady seems to have done, like taking the time to think about the next. And I, and I think Tom's one of these guys who frames his life in different ways. Football was a part of his life. It's not his entire life. So now you see all the businesses and other things that he has going. Mm -hmm. He's just going to transition over. And he's going to miss it. Like when I'm asked that question, I know he's going to miss yeah. football. I, I missed it. But after about three or four months and watching guys get hit like that, I said, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> and he will appreciate it more. His yeah. body will appreciate it. Yeah. Pretty soon. Well, I can say NFL's loss is our game, having you <laughs> well, with thank us. You. That's thank the you. truth.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.